And, uh, the point you'll make is it's an even competition. You need to have things go right, but surely you expected better from your own. Yeah, dis disappointing night. Disappointing for us, um, coaches, players, members, supporters, all round. No other way to describe it. So where did it not work? Oh, look, I think, yeah, you know, for, for whatever reason, you know, no, full credit to Hawthorne, they were able to come out and play a, a good game of footy and um, pressure on the ball, but our execution tonight was, was miles off the level that we've experienced and we've had, and um, I thought even at half-time, you know, talking to the playing group was, you know, where a lot of the indicators were trending our way, we were in front of the scoreboard, um, and there was a, you know, a sort of a keep, don't get frustrated, keep uh, persevering, um, and then, unfortunately, in the third quarter, it, uh, it continued. So we never really, never really got into gear. Um, but that said, we had enough opportunities, um, but we had a lot of missed opportunities as well, and that, that cost you. Um, they were able to transition the ball down and, and score too easily um, off the back of some, some really poor execution. Was it just, I suppose, a, a, a bad skills night from, from your guys, or was it maybe Hawthorne, you know, them sort of putting an extra player behind the ball and they sort of had that great rebound in the defence tonight? Uh, well, I mean, they didn't really have an extra player behind the ball. It was generally pretty even from a, from a stoppage. The centre bounce was a little bit different, but, um, you know, it was, it was their ability to, uh, as you say, it would probably hold up, but it was some of our option taking as well. I mean, we, we, we turned the ball over in some really poor spots and we took some poor options and decisions, um, which didn't really, at times... Did we get a, a strong enough contest ahead of the game? Maybe not. Other times it was just some really poor execution. It didn't give our forwards anywhere near a chance. And, um, you know, the inside 50s, we had plenty of opportunities. As I said, we just missed a lot of them. So to say that they weren't sharp because of the bye? So. Oh, look, you know, that came off the bye as well, so I'm not, I'm not going in the path of the, the bye being the reason. Um, but as I said, it was a really disappointing night all round. I thought, you know, our... Um, yeah, and it wasn't even it wasn't just purely our kicking. I mean at times we kicked the ball reasonably well. It was some of our marking, some of our timing around some of our aerial stuff as well was just, you know, quite was quite off. Um and you pay the price. And you know, credit to Hawthorne, they came out and played a solid game and stayed in you know, stayed in the game. Um and then the last quarter we were able to um, push over the line. Tom, what's it like in the coach's box when you think do you you persevere with what you know the team can do best or Running something different. Well, we tried a couple of things in terms of you know trying to get some uh, some energy into our into the, the movement of the ball and so forth. Um, but again, that's a you know that's a potential tool you throw at. It's also a capacity to to, um, um, to affect that change. Um, and sometimes these things work, and sometimes they don't. What about the captain in the second half? What would you assess his game like in the second half? Oh, I'd have to go back and look at it in more detail. To be honest, um, what are you referring to in particular? Well, his numbers were very, very low in the second half, and at the time yep. the game needs someone to lead, yep. impose himself on the game, there'll be again the criticism of where was he in the second half. Well, I think his, his effort was still strong. I mean, his numbers might not reflect that, but you know, certainly I know, you know Tex at three-quarter time was very vocal with the group, um, very demanding on the group, and um, you know, led in a, in a strong fashion in that sense. Is it a bit of a wake-up? Called on. I think it's now three or four losses out of the last seven games. Like, where do you guys sort of see yourselves at the moment? Well, it's it's not ideal. I mean, it's uh, you know we obviously set ourselves for the second half of the season, and this is a this is a poor way to start it. And as I said, it's you know um, disappointing for all of us, and, and as I said, members and supporters included. So we've we've got to you know we've got to regroup pretty quickly. We've got you know Carlton um, Saturday week, um, and we've got to we've got to clearly play and perform better than we did tonight. So, made you rethink anything? Oh, you're always rethinking. As I said, every game, whether you're winning or lose, you learn. Um, and there's some things we learned tonight, some which we understand if we don't bring those components to our game, um, we're going to struggle. Um, and some of those things we didn't bring, and there's some things we need to add to our game, and you learn about situations and individuals, and that's, that's ongoing. It doesn't matter whether you're winning or lose. Is it a matter of keeping faith, faith with the group, or do you look to make some changes ahead of the club? Oh, no, well, look, we'll keep faith with the group. I mean, the group's got us to this point now, and some guys had some, some slightly off nights. Um, but as I said, the numbers sort of indicate we, we, had, we had some opportunities. We had enough opportunities to be able to, you know, be, do more damage on the scoreboard than we did, um, but it was just our execution which, which fell away. I had to see you slide his game tonight. Got a bit of the ball, but not a yeah. massive influence. He, he worked hard against the tag. Yeah, he worked hard against the tag. And again, he's, he's, he'll get better week in, week out. As I said, I think during the week, I, I expect in a month's time we won't be talking about it. But yeah, he's, you know, he, I think he had 
20 plus tonight and um, I thought he had an impact on the game, his work around the clearances and I don't know how many clearances he had in the end but he was, he, he was, he was generating some ball for us which was good. One of the real positives, Hugh Greenwood um, was terrific. Yeah, he keeps he keeps you know, taking steps, which is great. You know, some of his some of his ball taking side is really clean. He's tackling. Um, you know, he's one of those unique players that's got got real good feel for the situation around the contest. You know, so his ability to knock balls down, you know, and sort of disrupt if you like the opposition is is very good. So, um, yeah, look, he's five games in. He's learning as well, and um, you yeah, know, took another little step today, which is good. What's the lesson you want your players to take tonight? The lesson, I think, the reality in this competition is if you don't. You know, don't bring and play, as I've always said, your, your fundamentals in a really strong sense, um, and don't play those for four quarters, um, you're going to be in trouble. Was there a case of being a touch complacent coming against a team that's second last on the ladder? No, nah, I wouldn't have thought so. I wouldn't have thought so tonight. And we understand the quality of Hawthorne, we understand the quality of some of the footy they've played, and um, I, I didn't sense any of that at all. For me, I think we, we had a poor night. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.